All right, so this is how the B2 looks all in uh, taken apart and um, I have here all major components. Um, what I want to do right now is talk about um, the observations I have so far about each one of the components and uh, briefly speak about what I plan to do uh, to each one of them. So let's start with the amplifier modules, which uh, everyone is probably curious about. Um, so uh, as I previously mentioned, all eight VFETs in this B2 were tested as being no good by a local repairman. Uh, whether the owner took this unit before he decided to send it to me. Um, I suspect that I suspect that, that was uh, probably inaccurate. So my suspicion turned out to be correct because I tested all VFETs here on a bench right now with a brief uh, diode test and they all seem to be okay. I don't think there's going to be anything um, to worry about these VFETs and I am very excited that this B2 will leave to sing another day, which is great. I'm sure the owner is going to be super happy as well. Um, these are obviously uh, uh, FET transistors, vertical FET transistors, and when you test them uh, uh, with a diode test and uh, as a uh, uh, bipolar junction transistor, as a BJT, they will test short uh, between uh, source and drain. and most techs don't know what the B2 is and what type of transistors it has. And uh, it's not the first time I, I, I hear that even experienced techs fell into that trap. But um, I'm glad to announce that um, this this B2 will sing another day. I mean, I, there obviously could be something wrong still with those VFETs, but it, in most cases there isn't. Well, if they pass the diode test, it's very unlikely there's something wrong with them and nothing has been reported as being wrong with the entire unit uh, from the owner. You know, owner stated that this unit worked before he took it to the repair shop and the only problem was the selector switch. So I, I have strong uh, belief that I will be able to um, uh, restore this unit and it will sing beautifully. So that is good news. Um, what do I plan to do to this amplifiers, um, the, the, the amplifier boards? Well, a lot of components will be replaced. Obviously, there's not my cap many capacitors on this board, not no many, I mean, not many electrolytics. But it's these capacitors that I will worry about, this <coughs> polyester capacitors, they will be replaced. Um, also be replacing the drivers, the pre-drivers. The reason is they do go bad. Um, I am... I'm not going to go into the de details. This is not something that uh, uh, I heard somewhere. I know they go bad. I've seen them replaced along with VFETs, and uh, there is a clear correlation between need to replace VFETs and need to replace these things. Uh, VFETs don't usually go bad by themselves. It's the supporting circuit circuitry that takes them down, and um, four or five amplifiers that I've seen from Japan um, that had this replaced um, the only other the, the, there's no other there's no other um, explanation that other than that they went bad they none of them went bad on me I'm waiting on my units uh, but I do replace them on every single rebuild that I do for a b2 and there's also some of them are in the b1 I replace them there as well um, all right, let's move on to the next board. It's uh, not so much, not so much, this is not very eventful. Um, nothing eventful about the, um, the meter board. All capacitors will be replaced. Uh, the, the 2SC458, uh, the LG type, this funny looking ones, funny looking transistors. I don't know if you could see them. Uh, I will post a close up, but maybe the uh, camera, if I can get the camera out of focus. Let's see, they have an unusual shape. Um, um, camera is not cooperating, so I'm gonna give up on that for right now. But they will be replaced. Obviously, the, the bulbs I will replace, I found very nice color LEDs that are very similar to the original look of the light bulbs, and I will be replacing uh, the light bulbs with LEDs. As I said, you know, capacitors will be replacing those those transistors. The transistors, I did have them go bad on me. The, 
uh, 2SC458, the LG type, where and then this this type of board too is not in a different unit. It's the this board where they would make this meters go wild, like the the needle wanted to jump out, basically just just so uh, acting erratically. And they don't and they test okay in in a typical um, multimeter test on a like a typical transistor test or. I mean, I'm sure if I put them on a curve tracer, they would probably would have probably caught that they are bad. But um, they tested, they tested okay. They passed the diode test, but after they warm up, they because they're leak, uh, they're they're leaking, they're known to leak, and they did leak in in my own units, and they would make these meters go crazy. So I will replace every single one of them. There are a few of them on the next board, which is the power supply. Uh, um, what I'm planning on doing with this board is replace pretty much every component in here. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy. Uh, everybody's going to say, oh, it's overkill. Well, that's debatable. If uh, the one, the people that have seen as many, um, as many of these boards as I've seen, uh, they would probably think the same way I do. Uh, but yeah, it, it could it could be tricky that uh, you know you know you, you're not gonna want to believe that most of these most of these components need to be replaced. But anyways, that's I'll t I'll go into deeper detail at some point. I wanna I'm actually planning on doing a little bit more deep dive on the PSU board, and that is because the PSU the power supply board is is um, it is so essential to an amplifier that you know it really needs to be special special attention needs to be paid paid uh, paid to one. Um, when you know uh, restoring one of the amplifiers or designing a new one anyways uh, let's see what we found out about the capacitor so what do we have here on the board oh well, look at that looks like it leaked and it leaked which one of you leaked oh there here we go so this guy right here is the one that leaked and he leaked um, all over the, the amplifier not just about this board and I'll show you in a minute it did some damage to the rest of the chassis the chassis so uh, the other ones did not. I, I didn't even bother testing these because I'm going to replace them. Uh, maybe for kicks I'll post some measurements on them. But really, like you could see clearly, this is uh, the perpetrator right there next to. Let me see if I can get this camera to focus better. Um, right there next to that to that pin. I can't see really well. My hand is a little shaky, so I'll give up on that. But yeah, uh, they do leak. Um, they have a higher failure rate in a B2 for the reasons I spoke before, because they operate in a high, you know, high temperature environment. So obviously those will be replaced. Uh, press some of those wires as well, and there are a couple of uh, plastic film capacitors there. Replace those two. All right. Um, next, before we go into the uh, before we go into the selector board. Let's look at the rest of the components here. So we have the chassis that got a little bit of spillage from the capacitors. I cleaned it up a little bit. You could still see the signs. Uh, I'm gonna see if I if I could clean it up a little better than that, but I may leave it like this. If I find a local shop that could replay this, um, I I will I will probably do that. But now with the lockdown, it's highly unlikely that I'll find anything open, and I don't want to keep this unit open too too much longer. So. Here are transformers, they're out because I wanted to clean the chassis. Uh, obviously the front plate is out uh, with the uh, uh, with the meters for the same reason because I don't want to get any any, any type of uh, chemicals or stuff inside those meters. By the way, uh, these meters, uh, they look pretty good in case there's any scratches. And so I think they're going to clean up pretty well, but usually if there are scratches on them, I'll just buff them and um, polish them uh, to look like new. Uh, more on that later. All right, um, here's another problem that I have. This rear cover is also bent, and I didn't realize and I didn't see that until I took it apart. And that's a problem because I know the top cover is bent, and I don't have a problem fixing that. That's something that I could easily fix. But this one, to fix it properly, it needs to be the, the seal screen in the back needs to be uh, reapplied, and I don't have a setup here for that. And so I'll try to bend this back so it's functional and not try not to damage the paint much but I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is um, just bend it back a little bit and leave it like that uh, on this rear plate I'll be changing those speaker wires but I will not be changing the 
I'll list that this time. I'm not planning on changing the speaker posts. Speaker posts are a little bit difficult to work with, but in the spirit of keeping this amp original and keeping all its functionality original, I will not be sp switching out the speaker posts and I will not switch out the, um, the RCAs. There are amplifiers that I will post photos of where I switched out the speaker posts, I upgraded them to a different uh, to um, to banana jacks and other um, you know uh, speaker posts that can take different type of wire connections and I also switched out the RCAs. Um, in my opinion, it's not really necessary to do that. I mean, I do it um, occasionally, but in this case, at least on on, on this amplifier, because of uh, I want to keep the look and feel uh, as much as possible to original. I I will strongly advise the owner not to replace them, uh, not because I'm lazy or you know anything like that but I just don't think it's necessary however this board will be um, will be a little bit uh, will be changed so while it's not going to be visible from outside the inside will be definitely changed and uh, that is uh, directly correlated with what I plan to do with the selector board and that is what I'm going to talk into more details as I come back in a little bit thank you